21 gun salute, Bronx Capo. Let's get back to the business. Now this picture been in my email for like two years. Just recently I seen a post on the web. I said, fuck it. Tonight, let's go ham. Is this a body double in the blue jersey shirt near the crime scene? I don't know what's going on. I'm going to not say my opinion. If this is not a body double, who is this dude in the blue shirt? It looks like it could be a t-shirt. Or... It could be a long sleeve hockey jersey. You know, Vegas, not only did it change the way America see hip hop, and it changed the way America deal with hip hop music, but it became a billion dollar business after Pac and Suge Knight did up Vegas. A lot of people say, why don't they want to solve the case? This shit worth over billions of dollars, bro. Who is this dude in the blue shirt? This has been in my email for a couple of years. Somebody sent it to me. And I told him when the time is right, I'll do a topic on it. Well, tonight. Who the fuck is this dude, bro? He could be a body double. I'm not saying he is. I'm not saying he's not. For the people that say enough of this shit with Pac body doubles and the lookalikes. Okay. Put an end to this shit tonight. And who is this brother in this blue shirt next to the police? Looking like a Pac body double. Because the email they sent me, they said, was this Tupac? And before they end the email, they said, was this a body double? A triple double? A quadruple double? Shout out to the New One Nation. Follow the New One Nation. Make sure y'all follow the New One Nation. All our music. And a diverse of topics. We're going to hit topics. Besides Pac shit on the New One Nation. We working deals here. We helping people out. You want to be down with the Scratcher TV? Let's talk about it. Who the fuck is this dude in the blue shirt? This nigga look like a body double to some people? Some people say, nah, that ain't no body double. Then who it is? Drop a comment below. Let me know. Hit the bell. Ain't hard to motherfucking tell. Four days left to the 13th. A lot of Pac Ops joining with Pac Ops. 25 years later, they looking like Pac Ops. That's a bar. All these motherfuckers want to be with Pac Ops. 25 years later, to play cool. My question for tonight. Was this a Pac body double? You heard it here first on Discretion TV. Please don't say it. You heard it on another channel. This fucking question. You know, they say Suge had police on payroll. They said Suge had firemen on payroll. They said Suge had the ambulance on payroll. They said Suge had the judges on payroll. They said Suge had the prosecutor on payroll. They say Suge had the CEOs on payroll. That's a bar right there. Don't bite my shit, bro. New what they should have telling you. Is this a Pac body double or not? Wow, 25 years. And we still got motherfucking questions. Shout out to the New One Nation, man, and everybody that supported this channel from day one. You feel me? There's a lot of stuff that's missing out. There's a lot of stuff that's overlooked that, you know, people still don't talk about in Vegas. Tupac plans. Pac had a lot of plans. Pac had, Pac had a vision. 
And the only way for him to get the vision was for him to be free. He couldn't do it on the clutches of the v Jimmy Iveens and the Interscopes. He couldn't do it under them. Y'all know that. But my question is, how far and how long will Pac disappear for? Because that's, that's what it's looking like. It looks like in the comments, a lot of people are saying, yo, but it's 25 years. He can't be quiet for that long. What's the jurisdiction? What's the jurisdiction when you got a bunch of questions? Like, where were you on the night when Chris Wallace got killed? <laughs> you want Pac to be questioned? All you motherfuckers want Pac to come back. It seems like you want him to be questioned for the murder of B.I.G. Alright? Because they're going to ask him. Where were you on the night of the murder of B.I.G.? So let's cut your shit, bro. I don't want fucking Pac to come back no way in America. Are you fucking serious? Fuck you mean? Too much questions. Too many motherfucking questions they gonna ask, bro. Are you fucking serious? Drop a comment below and let me know my question for tonight. Who is this dude in the blue shirt? Some people say it could be a body double. Some people say it might not be a body double. I could tell already. Especially if y'all don't know who this is. Is this one of the outlaws? I don't know. Can anybody let me know what outlaw this is? It could be. <laughs> Yo, I can't even say what outlaw this is. <laughs> y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> Where is that? They always say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, Pac had a plan. The only way out to get a bag in my eyes, I could be wrong, and you don't got to agree with me, but I feel the only way for Pac to get a real bag to finally see at least 5 milli, 10 milli, what's through Amara Records? What's through Amara Records? No way with Harry O snitching, talking to the DA and bitching. No way with Harry O. No way with Harry O and Suge Knight's neck. Are you serious? Suge Knight moved the <laughs> Suge Knight moved Death Row to Bahamas ASAP. Y'all remember that? Suge Knight, what? In a few weeks from now, it's the anniversary when Suge Knight moved Death Row to Bahamas. Are you fucking shitting me? Jimmy Iovine, that doucheface said he had a visit from Congress. They said get these niggas salary. Jimmy Iovine, that douche face, he said, he told Suge Knight, hire real security, hire real cops. Then I find out they were Rampart. David Kenner, hey, yo, it was a lot of corrupt shit going on with Suge Knight and Pac had a face, man. You know, y'all be talking about let Pac come back to do what? Join us with the protesting? What the fuck? Are you serious? Pac had his own issues in America, man. Motherfuckers is trying to protest now for his Pac. Let's be real. Like I say, man, 10 years from now, you're going to wish there was a Discretion TV and a Valentino. Hey, yo, make sure y'all follow that new One Nation, man. Uh, Valentino giving me shoes.